Hi everybody, in this video we are going to install this low profile GeForce GT710 graphics card on the Dell Optiplex 3010. We've got our instruction manual right here. So it is a low profile graphics card. It has a DDR3, 2 gigabytes memory. So nothing too fancy. Um, you could probably do some light gaming with this, but don't expect too much. So here we have our VGA, we got DVI in the bottom and HDMI in the middle. Very well packaged, got it brand new from Amazon for $55. This will also allow us to um, do two monitors at the same time. One of the main reasons why I got this card. So in order to install, turn off the computer, unplugging it. And then we are going to open up the back case. I really like these Dell Optiplexes. They are easy and fun to work on. Easy to put in parts, um, easy to get parts. So we got to open up this tab here, but let me change the video angle to make it easier for everybody to see. So right there, I just got to flip open that tab, but let me hook up my anti-static wrist strap. We're hooked up. Okay. So I got to put this up right here. Easy to pop out. And the graphics card is going to go in there, the PCIe 16 slot. Take out this bracket right here. Alright, so later we're going to have to choose either VGA or HDMI and DVI. So we definitely got to go with the HDMI DVI for a more modern um, connection. So on the graphics card, the screws, I just got to unscrew these using my hands. They're not very tight. They're not screwed in very tight. So you should be able to do it with your fingers. Um, if not, feel free to use a tool. You know, they're just screws. All right, I'm just being a little careful here. So we got to take out this VGA connection. Boom. Okay. All right. Now let's install the low profile bracket. Alright, now we just got to put in a couple screws. Okay, I think we are ready. So, we got to remove the protective cover. Boom. Okay. So, I'm going to be just very gentle. So, I'm just going to gradually push it in. Not going to force it. Make sure that the graphics card is aligned with the slot. So, I'm going to gradually push it in. So the tab will pop up to secure it. You're gonna you're gonna feel it. So right now, it's gonna gradually. I just want to be careful here. All right, boom. There you go. It is secure. You can see that the white tab went uh, it went up and it secured it. So now I flip that back over. We are secured on that side. Also. So we can put this extra bracket and the extra VGA connector away. 
we can turn on the computer to test but before we do that we want to plug in our monitor into the graphics card so where we hooked up the graphics card we are going to hook up our monitor so right here i'm using the dvi for this test i'm hooking it up so that is the graphics card hooking up the monitor directly to it so I turned it on and it automatically installed. In the instructions, it says I was supposed to go to the MSI website. So, um, but it looks like it's supposed to be automatic. So it installed automatically on its own, which is completely surprising. I was just connected to the internet. So the NVIDIA popped up, NVIDIA control panel, it just all installed automatically, which is great, I guess. I did have to accept the terms um, but I did not have to download any drivers or anything. I, it did it on its own. So let me show you a little bit of the info here. So there's definitely a bunch of options that you can play around with. What surprised me too is I didn't even have to go into the BIOS. It automatically all kicked in. Um, I'll double check the BIOS later though. But uh, everything seems good. The resolution changed. At the beginning, the resolution I could tell it was um, was in safe mode, and then it automatically changed itself. So I can tell here in the device manager that it is definitely installed. But let me just make sure that the driver's updated. It's good. Yeah, I didn't have to do anything. So if you wanted to double check, you could always go to your your um, device manager and right scan and scan for changes and check if there's any drivers that you need to update but like I said the installation for this device is pretty easy it did everything on its own it just installed automatically and then you just I just had to accept the terms so it's definitely reading according to CPU Z I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching take it easy